So I'm gonna try a different creative way of doing this. Get the stone stuff. Where's the knife? Play me like that. I thought I was doing well. It is angled, so it's gonna have to be sh shaved a little bit, unfortunately. But um, here's my marker. I try to get reach. That's that is the problem. <laughs> But it was it was more abstract than all of the things we've done together today added up. So wow, look at that. I could be an artist. It's too hot out today. <laughs> <laughs> It's getting close. It's getting close. This step down is throwing me off here, but that's where there's supposed to be a trim piece, I think, for the step, uh, door step of the car. Still needs a little bit on the back, but... From there to there. But I think the front corner is decent enough. Again, we're gonna have more uh, trimming with the wood to do probably than the windshield one, but uh, what I'll probably try and do when we go to film the rest of that is maybe even get the car up where there's power so that you can just do it all at once kind of thing. Won't be happening this filming session. Nope.
knuckle in it the wrong way. There we go. So, are you kidding me? Our box is four inches short. As much as I get chased by the bugs. This piece of this, this, this piece of don't bring it over here. This, it's gonna die in a second. This piece of cardboard is like four inches short to do the entire door. Are you kidding? Me? So, I mean, realistically, we probably don't need the top part. And there's no way to hold, if there's a way to hold this here, then I could work on the last piece, but it won't stay unless I hold it like this. That part at least. Now we can get rid of a good chunk of this. If I have to, I guess. Let's take a little more off here. Let's see if I'm gonna make it fit like that. Not bad, not bad at all. Not bad. So yeah, just gently like that. I'll get some tape. Oh, this is Skill some, camera work. Some, some mac and cheese duct tape. Not duct tape. Duck. Duck tape. Which is a brand of duct tape. I don't know what the brand of the good duct tape actually is. Is it duct tape? <laughs> it's called duct tape because you use it on ducks. <laughs> I know. But yet you don't. Because I think if you put regular gray duct tape on ducts, it would probably melt. <laughs> Does not accept nose as... Duct tape is aluminum based, usually. Aluminium. Aluminum. Aluminium. I'm not British, but I like to make fun of them for saying aluminum wrong. <laughs> nice. Uh, one more piece in the middle. In the middle! The milieu. Is that actually right? Well, what I just said was right. You were in French immersion for a while, weren't you? So you should. 12 years of my life, and I still can't should. really speak it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should be the French person having done French immersion. Of course, it doesn't fit the hole properly now. That's fine. Okay, let's go draw this on wood quick because. Yeah, we don't. We don't have time for that today. Greg will have to do it himself then, because I'm going on vacation. Okay. Okay, outro the video. The end of this video will occur in the future by myself. Great. Um, but for now, we have a cardboard template for a door that kind of fits. We have a wood template for a windshield that also kind of fits. We're hoping that this door template will fit both sides. So. But should, you should just have to flip it. Well, we could check Hopefully. that right now. Hope. Yeah, we could, I guess. I should probably put some tape on the back of it. But yes. Let's do that quick. Okay. The bees are really enjoying my cameras today. Okay. With our luck, this won't fit at all. Helps if I get it at the right height. But uh, I think you're correct. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So either 
Volkswagen can't build a vehicle with two identical door frames. Or... Or it did shift when it... Or this one's bent. I'll be revealed on the next episode of GB Productions. That is what actually I guess it's... Oh, there we go. Yeah, fits. Sort of. Close enough. Considering this side of the car was crunched. I'd say she's good to go. Great, Greg so, will finish this off himself. With that, don't forget to comment, you don't like, have and to, subscribe. You don't have to end it here. You can end it yourself. Oh. Okay, peace. Peace. So, hello, we're back. I'm Greg from GB Productions. I'm here with Mitchell again. I'm behind the camera. We're uh, back on the Caddy pickup here and uh, gonna finally finish up our template so we can do the front end swap here. It hasn't been a couple of days or a couple of weeks or even a couple of months. It's been like at least, been over a year I think since we touched this project last. So we're gonna just kind of mesh all this together so it looks like we did it in one shot for the most part, but it hasn't been, which is the case for most YouTubers. Life gets in the way and other projects get started and whatever, so we're finally back. We got the cardboard from the door for last time and the last time we worked on it we got the windshield cardboard made and traced and cut onto quarter inch plywood so that's there ready to do the windshield and we'll do the door today mosquitoes and uh, do some test fitting and then maybe in the fall it'll probably end up being next summer now we'll actually get to do the front end swap with the convertible that we've got um, but yeah that's the plan nothing else has really changed on the truck since then there's not really much left to rot away, so we're not losing a whole lot. It is sitting on gravel, so that's better than in a field, but yeah, that's the plan. So let's get started on making the wood template for the doors here. Sounds good. All right, so we got a piece of our sheet from when we did the windshield, and we're going to try to sweat that off or try to trace out this door cardboard we made here. I'll get Mitchell to help with holding it flat probably so that it doesn't move as well. I'm gonna try and trace it out here. Oh also making sure we don't cave in the plywood. Yeah don't push down <coughs> too too hard. The biggest thing is we don't want it to move once I've started tracing so Let's see what we can do here. Our sketchy craft dinner tape at the top there. What do you mean? Craft dinner tape? It's not well, just not craft dinner, just mac and cheese tape. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. Uh, Doing this right handed. I don't write with my right hand. I forgot to be a left handed. Uh, Alright. So now, another round of sawing away. Of course, I didn't have the camera set up properly for that last shot. <laughs> How, how do you not have it aiming at where we're going to draw? I don't know. I was aimed at you for the intro and then I forgot to move it. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to cut it out. You guys saw us draw it earlier, last year. All we did was trace the cardboard. There's nothing special. This is the fun part. I don't know that I would characterize it as fun. we got to make sure we don't run into the sawbooks. You sure? You don't want to hear metal on metal? I want to hear your dad. He finds out we <laughs> should be fine on this side more. Yeah, it's only four inches wide or so. And that side's going to be a problem, but we'll start here. Start here and go that way, I guess. Okay.
begins the long process of making it fit perfectly. And if you remember, recall from the, the windshield, uh, it took us probably five or six runs back to the back to the jigsaw to cut tiny little bits out of it so that it would fit. What we should have done is brought the marker to know where to trim it. But that all looks good. Really? Too big here and here. side where it sticks out in the middle of that side where it sticks out. I, mean, I can't tell about the rest because I can't make it fit. The corner probably needs a little bit off too. Okay. after even more adjustments. At what point are we just going to stop filming adjustments? This will all be time lapsed anyway. So. <clears throat> okay, that's, that's pretty damn good. We did it. I think. Oh, maybe not. If you come over here, I need more hands to hold this all in. You put, put a knee against there. No, don't do that. Curl it. Push that in the bottom again there now. No, we're pushing too much. There you go. I wanted to know about this. Yeah, she guess it is. So, yeah. She fits. We should probably go check the other side of the car. Got a door, guys. Done. Just gotta throw an engine in there and she's good to go. We don't need a driver's door, we only need a passenger door. Any second it's gonna go ping. Cool. Should go right on this like I did on that one, I guess, or I can leave it here and bring the marker back, I guess. Now you're live. <clears throat> Alright, so that uh, pretty much wraps up both templates for this part of the project. This is the front door one we just finished. And I'm gonna mark on this side because it's the one we did the template off of. So let's still mark one. Uh, this is, I'll just say drivers. Out. And it can be used for the passenger side, we know it's just a little bit of a different fit, which makes sense. They can't make two sides identical in the factory anyways. So yeah, the next thing when we finally get time, I guess, is to uncover the convertible and put these in. That's going to be a fun part about the convertible too, is it's got two door doors on it so we'll have to hold it all the way to the front of the car mark the windshield where we're going to cut it mark the actually we should start on the truck I guess but same thing put it in the truck mark where we're going to cut the windshield posts mark where we're going to cut the rocker at the bottom and then those marks on the templates will be actually the only reason just thinking about that now the only reason we needed I guess it's good for fitment, but technically I guess thinking about it now, we don't even really need a windshield template because the door will cover the A-pillar cut anyways. But it's good to have it as a fitment template when we go to put the two pieces together because if it's like a millimeter off, 
your windshield either doesn't fit or you put it in and it'll leak. So that's going to be a fairly precise thing when we actually get to doing it. And there's the whole problem of floor. Where are we gonna so, take the floor from the convertible? Oh yeah, yeah. It needs a little bit of patching. But. Interestingly enough, the floor out of the convertible is going to be stronger than a floor out of a hard top. It's thicker. Yeah, because there's no roof. Yeah, yeah. the rockers are completely different, so there's going to be a bit of mockery to make the rocker look like it's supposed to. But yeah, it'll be the strongest caddy that anyone's ever seen because it'll have convertible uh, floor and rockers, so which is fine, I'd rather it be stronger anyways for putting stuff in the bed or for towing stuff with, so. I do plan on using it as a truck to a certain extent. I thought it was mainly meant to be a show vehicle. Well, yes, <coughs> but it's nice to have a fuel efficient, basically a car that has a six foot bed or whatever it is, five foot, um, and could have a trailer hitch on it. But yeah, it's limited to whatever a Golf, whatever that Golf can tow basically, because that's the engine that's going in it. Um, but like, it's not gonna be driven in the winter. It's not gonna be driven in the rain unless you get stuck somewhere. It's gonna have a solid wood routered tailgate um, and whatever else I can figure out that's cool and unique. But yeah, that'll be probably a next, well, actually, <laughs> I've got school next. January to August as well, so. Yeah, isn't the main priority to get the silver truck ready? That'll be hopefully in the fall, yeah. But yeah, so we're done this. Well, the tractor's gotta be finished. Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so if you like this video, hit that like button. Drop a comment if you think this is a ridiculous idea that we're doing. Uh, subscribe so you can keep up to date on this project. And hit that bell so that you get notifications when we post this video and other videos and yeah we'll see you next time on the caddy project whenever that is mm -hmm. take care peace